this. Chanel for men. Now for the moment y'all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, we are about to start unboxing once again more lovely boxes from this $2,400 storage unit we bought at a moving company. Turned out to be a network television executive. Let's get right to it. Let's see if we can find some hidden treasures today. We've yet to really find anything that really got us excited. If you remember, I think the nicest thing we found so far was this Mont Blanc pen and a series of different things from HBO, Showtime, Comcast, et cetera, et cetera. With that being said, let's get right to it. I like this box that says dining room wine glasses. Still looking for that sterling silver set. Could it be in the bottom of a dining room? Monte Cristo Havana. Ooh, that could be some money right there. I don't know much about cigars. People like to smoke them. Oh, come on, now I won't go back in. Probably shouldn't take it out of the hole, Michael. Okay, let's see what kind of cups we have. Nice little crystal set. The chances are that is that, that is that, that is that. Let's move on to a bigger piece. Ooh. Okay. Grana glass, handmade in Sweden. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. And then it has this beautiful crystal ashtray, which don't sell. These boxes are harder to go to. I think it'd probably be better if I just undo it. Candle holder. Crystal. Not Waterford, not Lilac, no signature. Wine decanter. Nice. Not marked, but we found one of these earlier. Sold it for five bucks on the live. Benji got sad. Okay. A lot of the same cups. We just skipped through that. On to the next. Ooh, I like this. Dance to your own drum. Okay. Indy Racing Capital of the World. You got a basketball. Looks like a lot of paperwork. A monkey. Big bird. Ooh, that's kind of vintage. Almost worth something. And a VCR. Wow. So that whole box was comprised of just that stuff. Nothing else. Interesting. We find a diamond in the rough in this unit. Right now it's looking very bleak. Hmm. Wow, that's just demolished. I don't even want to pull this out. It's big. It's got a chain, so it's a fixture. I don't see anything signed saying that it's Tiffany. That's a good $40, $50 lampshade though right there. So that's nice. See? Right here, this looks promising. It says camera cook. What do we have? A vintage polo jacket, Ralph Lauren. That's kind of cool. Like almost. Oh, what is this? This probably would have been a good item. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Dressing dolls. 
dog bone. Sadly, General Patton ain't with us today, so he can't be here to play with the bones. Oh, come on, where are you? That's kind of cool, almost. No, no. No. Shoehorn, shoe boot taker offer, quantum battery. That sucks. They get they got me on this one. Speed light unit, Nikon. This one almost feels like something's in it. Let's see. Speed light stabilizer. So that is in there, Nikon SB12. That's not bad. I don't know what that's worth. We will have to definitely check that out. If anybody out there understands camera equipment with a quick of a quick thought process, just go ahead and type in right there what you think that's worth. No reason to look it up. I'll take care of that later. Quick charger, not in there. The only hope is that somewhere in here is whatever went in those boxes. Empty. Polycast protractor. Golf balls. Pinville Resort. <clears throat> Vivitar Instant Slides. Dang, this land was 813 bucks. Canon F3. Or is that the camera? A little disappointed. A little disappointed. And some type of tapes. Airmail. Joanne to Mr. Zaza. Hmm, what are those? These are gonna have to be watched, listened to, and seeing what they are. There's a whole box of weird little tapes like that. Reel to reels. Joe came with the airmail. I love you. All right. Powerful words, that just became priceless just for the fact that it said I love you. Solar filter. Mm. Okay. That was a wash on that box, guys. Quote the Raven dartboard. Christmas wreath. Nope. Thanksgiving. Holiday wreath. That is coming, so this could have like at least a four dollar value there. Mm, that would have been a good bag if it wasn't all. Ugh. My face made with ooh. Part of a tent. Every time I think I'm gonna find something good, press it. That's 15 to $20 there. Not a bad leather bag, though. Long way back to 2400 so far. I find it hard to believe this stuff was packed this way. I really do. Midnight Swingers. That sounds like a great party, actually. Screw bowling. That sounds like a great party. Homies. 
my homies. Let's set this down here. Yankees? Or am I tripping? No, it's not Yankees. Nothing. Wah, wah, wah. These are almost kind of cool, actually. I can see that having some value. Get You Said by Ellie. Set those aside. Pardon me, are those Beagle Boys you're wearing? Born to be bad. Like I said, this is almost cool vintage stuff, but it's like not quite. Okay, so. Another number 24. Must have been his number. Yep. Set that aside. I like these. Making things grow for all who love the game. And then trophy time. Michael. This literally all trophies again. That's not a trophy. Knights of Columbus. What is this? Chanel for men. That's kind of cool. We'll set that aside because that's kind of neat. Trophy, 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 trophy. Trophy, trophy. All oh, trophies. Maybe a cool sign with some uh, inspiring words. That's a wrap on Again. I just want to show you all something exciting. It's like one thing. Palm Pilot. That was cool back in. We got a basket and magazines. This is what we're looking at right now. The silver set that would really inspire me right now. There's China.
Yawn, all this paper. Yawn. Yawn, yawn, yawn. More of this set. We sold some of this today. This is what I did for a large portion of my life. Right here, wrap stuff in these papers every day, all day, every day. Wise heaven. Marble fruit. Huh. When I was a mover, this is exactly what we did every single day. We took all the little items, put them in paper, shoved it in these boxes, filled it full of paper. And we also did the opposite where we unboxed the stuff and unrolled every single piece, piece by piece, and set it into place. That is where I get my knowledge on how to buy a storage unit. This looks like all dishes. It says pantry, which to me is not impressive. Can't see. Punch bowl cups. I'm gonna go straight to the bottom. That's the whole key here. When you pack a moving box and you're a mover, Ideally, all the light stuff, cheaper stuff, small stuff goes on the top. All your good stuff goes on the bottom. You build your foundation solid around it. Paper. Be something good. Be something good. Mm. I don't really think I drink wine, but this would be cool to have at the house, right? Maybe. Let's set that aside. Cuisinart prep board counter protector cutting surface. I like that. Could use another one of those. Even though I bought one. Shout out to Walmart. Kind of got a little hog wild up in Walmart buying stuff. That looks kind of cool too. That would look good on a, my buffet. Interesting. Here we go. We got a thermos. Bread for exchange, empty. Boston Red Sox. Oh, the bat broke. This is what we're looking at right here. Ah. B. Hall. You know what? That actually looks like some type of a painting, to be honest with you. Interesting. Let me look at this a little more. I could see that it's been colored and highlighted. You can see right there, that's not a print. Interesting. I like this piece, I can't tell if it's, I mean, I, I can obviously tell it's painted. It's weird though, because it doesn't look super thick, but you can see the highlighted areas. You can see the drawings with pencil. This is definitely something. I don't know the value of it. Good work. If you look at this piece, the way that that Richard Pryor, right there is, you see Sammy Davis Jr., etc. This is quality 
Kermit, the Kermit's on point. This is a quality piece. I just don't know much about it. I think I'm gonna have to look this up. With that being said, now for the moment you've all been waiting for. What's in this box? Please be something Gucci. Please be something Gucci. <sighs> Almost. Six twenty-five. All right. Well, that sucks. Quick recap of the not so cool stuff we found in there. That was neat. You know, everybody out there loves Chanel. Benji's gonna want that. We gotta listen to these audios or have somebody look at these reels. It could be something important. We got a fifteen to twenty dollar leather bag. We got a polo jacket. And I guess I thought the coolest item, probably the most valuable so far, is this weird pair of vintage pants. I, for some reason, think that's the most valuable thing we found. With that being said. That is a wrap. With that being said, that is the end of this unboxing. You can see right here, there's plenty more to go. Stay tuned. Don't forget to check out the previous videos in this playlist, and there'll be many more to come. I love y'all. Blessings.